Hi, I'm Heinbach. Good to have you back. I just received delivery of a piece of test equipment I've been waiting for a long time. It's in the box right beneath my feet and let's open it up. So what is this beautiful baby sized and three fists large piece of equipment? It's a Rode & Schwarz UBM, a tunable indicating amplifier, which means it's a mixture of an amplifier with a bump pass filter, so you can amplify certain frequencies. This was used by Karl-Heinz Stockhausen a lot, especially in his work Kontakte. I got this very clean unit from Max Koshu, who has a complete tailor of it on his channel. And I can't wait to try it out in person, because I've read so much good stuff about it and heard so much good stuff about it, that it's almost mystical to me. And in fact, I even dreamt about it before I got it. So let's put it in the rack and see what it can do. So as you can see, I managed to fit it in just barely. And I hope it works in this position. So now, let's turn it on. We've got a light. So let's take a cable from the ground. Take first the ground, put it in here. Now let's go to the output. Oh! There's sound already. Ah, because the tube filters are feeding back. I can probably set the pitch here. Yeah. I figured out how this thing works, so I'm going to give you a run through through its functions. Here is the pitch knob. This will set the pitch to whatever you want according to what you set it in here. If you go here, it's non-resonant, so the bandpass filter is off, so it wouldn't work. So first range, 400 to 450 hertz, second 350 to 3000, 2000 hertz to 18,000, and then it goes to 14 kilohertz, 120 kilohertz to an incredible 80 kilohertz to 600 kilohertz. Because this must also be used in broadcast applications. This is the input. Here is the sensitivity, which is the amplifier. This is the feedback. And here you've got the mode of operation. So you can have the indicator or you can have it as an amplifier. But I don't see much difference or hear much difference right now. It's just that this gets turned on when I put it to um, indicator. I'm taking a pulse from this very versatile AT12B pulse generator from Hewlett Packard. And I'm plugging it in here.
try out an oscillator and filter that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So let's try running a TR606 into the UVM. Hopefully here, the sounds that you can get from the UBM are beautiful. They are warm, full, thick, sort of like a super metasonics sound. Where metasonics is always a little more noisy and a bit hard to dial in, this is just perfectly fine. You've got giant knobs, you can adjust everything very perfectly. And using something as fine as this Hewlett and Packard pulse generator, you can really tune the sound to be exactly what you want. Yeah, I've been listening a bit to Contacte again, and I think I want to make a track where I take some inspiration from that, especially the softer pulses, how they go from a steady note to a more separated sound could be interesting, but of course I won't be able to replicate the complexity of that work. I'm just gonna do this in an hour or so now, and I will be using the Tascam 4 track there to record many layers of this and try to make chords maybe. And then I'm going to use, of course, this as the bass drum for everything. And let's see where that takes me. Let's bring in more rhythm.
So that is the first track I made using the Rode & Schwarz UBM. I really like what the UBM adds to my setup. The tube sound and the resonating filter are very unique and you can get great wooden tones from it. It's a whole new palette in this setup. I'll put up a sound pack of the UBM on my Patreon so you can use it in your music and do with it whatever you want. Also the track will be available there. If you're interested in learning more about Karl-Heinz Stockhausen's Kontakte, I linked a rather fantastic article by Kevin Austin in the description. So that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.